Yo, what's going on YouTube? Here is the Cartoon Collector with another video for you guys. Today I will show you my latest pickups, the stuff that arrived in the last week. So let's check it out. Alright, let's start with uh, pickup number one. I'm really happy to have this because I collect all the uh, animated movies of Batman on Blu-ray. And um, I also have a lot of cartoon movies of Batman on DVD, but like the uh, 15 and 18 plus stuff I collect on Blu-ray. Uh, this is the latest uh, DC Comics one, and it's called Batman Bad Blood. Um, I heard mixed reviews about it. Um, some people say it's a really good uh, animated movie and other people say it isn't. I have to check it out so I can uh, share my thoughts about this movie. I cannot wait for Killing the Joke because that is, I think, a fantastic movie that is also going to get a release, uh, if I'm correct, this year. Uh, by the way, you can buy that uh, between 15 and 20 euros on internet. Then uh, a lot of Zavi stuff is coming in right now. Sometimes Zavi has uh, really cheap uh, cartoons and also box sets. And one of those is the Ultimate Avengers Double Collection. I have. I think both of these on DVD with a Dutch cover, but you know, on Blu-ray for five euros, uh, both movies is, is fantastic. I mean, um, I would say six out of 10. The, I'm not really a big fan of the Avengers uh, besides Thor and the Hulk, but um, yeah, they're decent, you know. You know, with a little bit of popcorn, you know, it's, it's, it's good to see, you know, you have a, you will have a fun time, I think. 140 minutes, so it's not so long. Then, uh, also a movie I'm really happy to have. Uh, this is from Manga, manga.com, I think. That is Street Fighter 2, the movie. It's, of course, an animated manga movie. Uh, besides this one, I also have the American original, uh, um, what is it? TV show, uh, which is actually uh, part of the movies, or the movies is part of this film set, uh, sorry, series set. Um, I think 10, 15 bucks, something like that. Then three, I think really awesome pickups. I'm, I'm a little bit sad that I didn't uh, pull number four as well, because number four right now is sold out on Zavi. Uh, these are only six bucks a piece. Uh, they're limited to 2000 pieces each. So if you want them, buy them really fast. The first one, they're all steel books. The first one is Hulk versus Wolverine and Hulk versus Thor. The steel book is called Hulk versus. Six bucks and uh, yeah, awesome. I mean, it's a steel book. It's really nice. I will not unbox it maybe later. Um, yeah, you know, limited to 2000 copies. The one I'm missing is Planet Hulk and that goes now for 20 bucks on eBay, but I will probably get it before it's going to rise even more. Then Thor of Asgard, which is also um, a really nice uh, Marvel movie. And the last one is Doctor Strange, also six bucks. All animated Marvel movies, really nice for that kind of money. Then <laughs> I think a TV show that everybody knows. Uh, this TV show, I'm not a big fan of Nickelodeon because I'm actually too old for that, you know. When I was checking cartoons, you know, Scooby-Doo and so on, it was Cartoon Network and Jadix all the way. Nickelodeon uh, came later, actually, especially in the Netherlands. And this cartoon is one of the better ones, in my opinion, from the late 90s, early 2000s. And that is Hey Arnold. Uh, hey Arnold is actually an expensive cartoon to collect for. Uh, this box I bought second-handed, but it looks factory new, actually. This box goes for 50 to 75 euros second-handed, and sometimes sealed you know you have to be lucky with that i have the movie as well there's also one cartoon movie of it there's probably another one coming out and probably they're going to make a re-release of the original cartoon as well they're going to make new episodes because hey arnold was really really popular back in the days awesome show uh really funny and uh yeah i think this is one of the better nickelodeon shows uh, of the last years then um, a cartoon series, I didn't know anything about it. Of course, I know the Justice League, but not Justice League Unlimited. This is also a DC Comics uh, cartoon. Um, it is actually, I hope you can see it. It's like 
the 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 Justice League people are a little bit younger, and um, this is the complete set. It goes for twenty twenty five euros on eBay from the United States. It's nine hundred minutes, so you know, enough show to watch. Then a cartoon that I really like, actually. Um, I don't like it as much as Batman the Animated Series because I think that is still the best Batman cartoon ever made. But this series is actually one of the very first uh, Batman cartoon series and that is the new, or sorry, The Adventures of Batman. This is released in 1968, so it's pretty old and besides that it's also pretty static. If you uh, watch it, you see not many movements and not many interaction. That's because the, they didn't have the technique to make an awesome cartoon like they have right now. It's still really funny to see um, there are some uh, characters in it that they're not really uh, in the Batman movies and so on. It's kind of a little bit of a fairy tale sometimes, but it's awesome to see. Especially if you're a big Batman fan, you need to watch this. You can pick this up for like five to ten bucks. It depends a little bit. <clears throat> then uh, part two of the uh, set I showed you last week that is Super Friends Volume 2. The thing with Super Friends is this is one of the very first Justice League kind of cartoon series. The thing with this is that Volume 3 and 4 and so on are really expensive and kind of rare. You, It's really hard to find them on eBay because the thing is if I have Season 1 and 2 in American release I want to have the American release of Season 3 and 4 as well to complete the set. But the thing is that there is a season 3 and 4 on eBay right now, but with a different cover, not with the holographic cover and so on. So it's kind of hard to find. You will not find this in Europe. You have to go to eBay to, to complete this set. But this is a really nice cartoon, really old, 70s, 80s if I'm correct, but really good for its time. And then we go on with some Blu-rays. I bought six Blu-rays on a Dutch website and the very first one is a really, really special one. Um, this one is released a few years ago and um, it won a lot of awards in, in Europe, like on the Sundance Film Festival and uh, also on the International Film Festival of Berlin. The name of the movie is Mary and Max. Mary and Max is an animated movie. Um, and it, it tells the story about uh, the black things in life. So it's actually a kind of a sad story. Um, it, it, it's about a really special friendship between two people, young people, and it's also about bullying on school and so on. It's a really sad story, but if you watch it, your eyes will open. That is the thing behind this movie. And it's really well made. It looks a little bit weird. The parents of uh, Mary and Max look really weird in, in, uh, in the movie as well. But I would say 8 out of 10. This movie, you have to see it because it's so special and so different than all the stuff that got, got released every month, you know. Awesome. You have to watch it. Mary and Max. Then a movie I don't know anything about it, Dolan's Cadillac, it's a Stephen King movie, uh, I like Stephen King a lot, I don't like the horror stuff, I'm not into horror, but this is a thriller action movie, um, it's really old school, really hard as well, you know, a lot of shooting, blood and, and so on and so on, uh, I picked it up for four or five bucks, so I, I hope it's, it's good, don't know, if you know anything about it, let me know. Then a movie, this, which is a really, this is a classic. I mean, some people say it's really bad, others say it, it, it's, it's fantastic. My girlfriend doesn't like this, I know. I, I pick, picked it up because I have the whole set on the cartoon here, and that is He-Man, the Masters of the Universe. This is the movie of He-Man. Um, a lot of people say, you know, you have to see this if you like He-Man and so on. It looks really badass, as you can see. And um, a lot of people say actually that the, the, the soundtrack and so on is really decent in this movie. It's with Dolph Lundgren, actually. This guy is Dolph Lundgren. You know him probably from... Is it The Expendables? I don't know. 
Then a movie I also didn't saw, it won 8 Oscars and I didn't watch it and that is Slumdog Millionaire. The reason why I didn't have it is because it was really expensive for like months and months and months. It was always like 15 bucks for a movie that is a couple of years old right now and I'm not going to pay that for an old movie, you know. Right now I picked it up for 7 or 8 euros and I think it is a fantastic one. I mean, if what I heard about it, I saw some reviews, some trailers. I think this is a movie I really, really like. It's about a, a boy who is joining Weekend Millionaires and, um, you know, and then the people are going to ask him how he, does he know all the answers, you know, and then tells the story about, you know, uh, how he came there and stuff like that. Good to see. Then also a movie I didn't have on Blu-ray, but, you know, this is a classic one and that is Fight Club uh, with, uh, was it Brad Pitt, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Brad Pitt, yeah, of course. Awesome. What can we say? Uh, this is an old school classic movie. I think one of the best movies ever made. Uh, I'm not saying top 10 or something, but definitely top 30. This is a really sick movie. You have to see it. Fight Club. And then the last pick of which is again a classic one. The funny thing is I always played the video game of this car of this uh, Blu-ray or this movie. Sorry, but I never checked the movie out. I don't know why because this movie is probably I think they, uh, I think it's on the TV for like at least five times in the couple of years, last couple of years, and that is Blade Runner with Harrison Ford. I didn't check it out. I'm ashamed because this movie is a classic one. Everybody knows it, and it's actually pretty good. You know, around seven out of ten. You can pick it up for five to ten bucks. It's not that expensive. Um, so, guys, that are my pickups from the last week. If you like the video or have any questions, uh, leave a question in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you want. You can subscribe if you want. And I want to say till the next one. Bye.